In this video, we're gonna create rabbit floors from Rhino surfaces using Speckle. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by creating my floor boundary and I'm thinking of something like 10 meters in width and 15 meters in depth. So it's gonna look something like this. And I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna make sure that vertical is on about 40 meters. So it'll look something like this. All right, so let's rotate the one on top for 45 degrees. So we have this angle between the two curves and using the twin curves command, generate a number of curves between the start and end curve. And Rhino will automatically set their height as well as their rotation. All right, so these curves will be my floor boundaries in Revit. What I'll do now is I'll select all of them and using the planner surface command, I'm gonna generate a set of surfaces out of them. Let's delete the curves now because we don't need it anymore. And let's change our view to shade it. All right, so one important thing, make sure that your speckle two tab is on. If it's not, go to the options, show or hide tabs, and right here, speckle two. I'm gonna activate it. So now we have these two buttons. One is for speckle connector and another one for beam elements. So right now, if I send these surfaces from Rhino, uh, speckle doesn't know what to do with them while receiving in Revit. So they'll come as you know direct shapes, generic models. So what we will do now in Rhino is we will select all these surfaces, click on beam elements, and I'm gonna say that these will be floors and click on enter. So now if I select one of the surfaces and go to its attributes, now it has a new property called speckle schema and its value equals to floor. So what does this mean is that when we send this into speckleverse and receive it back in Rhino, speckle knows what to do with the surfaces now. It knows that this surfaces means a floor in Revit. So it's gonna generate a Revit floor out of these surfaces. Let's see how it works. So I'm gonna activate my speckle connector and create a new stream. I'm gonna name this as Rhino Surfaces to Revit Floors. Let's create. And I'm gonna send everything to the main. So now we're sending our Rhino data into Speckleverse. Let's view it. And this is what it looks like in Speckleverse. So, you know, these are regular B reps. All right, so now let's come back to Revit and create a new project. I'm gonna go to 3D view and let's activate the speckle connector. I'm gonna refresh it. So we have the Rhino surfaces to Revit floors stream. Let's select, so now we're not sending anything from Revit. So we have to go to receive mode and let's expand so this is the preview of what we're gonna receive in Revit. I'm gonna click on receive and voila. So now we have the Revit floors generated out of Rhino surfaces. And the beautiful thing is a speckle automatically generated these levels for the floors. And these are actually, you know, native Revit floors. These are not uh, a floor by face or a direct shape. So you can actually play with their boundaries and edit them. All right, so let's go one step further and create floor openings inside of Rhino. I'm gonna come back to Rhino and I'm gonna use the box to create an opening inside of these floors. Let's make sure that this box intersect with all the surfaces. All right, so now I will use the split command select objects to split these will be the surfaces and cutting object will be the box so now it cuts all the surfaces let's delete the box and delete the splitted part so now we have a set of openings inside of this surfaces so i'm gonna send it back into speckleverse let's come back to revit and receive it one more time and here they are. So Speckle automatically generated floor opening cuts out of the boundaries inside Rhino. All right, so this was it. So we have generated a set of floors with openings 
uh, from Rhino surfaces. If you have any qu questions, just let us know in the comment section below, or even better, we have a community, speckle.community, right in there. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.